churches just blocked, I mean, back to back to back. And it just spoke to me that there were that many churches um, right up close to the poverty and the despair and the need of the Haitian people. And yet, you know, many had not responded to their need. And so it just reminded me um, about the power of what we do here at True Life. It was something else to see because the Haitian people, uh, it's devastating. You know, they had no home. The church there, I was so surprised because we were in Sunday school and a man went around handing out mail, like a mailman. And that's because they had no home address. Um, and it, it just, and then they would be split up in classes and they, they took the small room and, and first grade over here or the old children over there and adults here and then they would talk a little bit loud. And I said, well, Lord, your little becomes much when you place it in the master's hand. And they had church. The kids are what I remember most and what um, stands out the most for me getting to know them and seeing that they're very much like the kids that we have here you know they they want treats and they want to be your favorite and they want to be you know a part of what what you're doing and I think I was just moved to see kids that don't have all of the things that our kids have here. Um, they may not have the money or they may come from homes where they, you know, live with 10 or 12 people, but they're excited about God. They're excited about us being there. Um, and they're genuinely just sweethearts. My very first memory is of this little guy. His name was Abadias and he came in and he was all dressed up for vacation Bible school. He had on his Sunday shirt and he had on his Sunday pants and, and he came in and he was prepared. He was ready for vacation Bible school. And I remember Abadias being such a, a little young man and he was only five. Yeah, that was my very first memory. One of my students, I, he was bad, Kenny, and he was bouncing around, he was bad. <laughs> and all I did one day was tell him to come sit in my lap. And I said, Kenny, he wants to be a baby today. And he sat in my lap and I held him like a child. And he calmed down, the next day he was just perfect. But I was told later on that his mother had been um, sent back to Haiti, so about two years ago. So from the, from the time he was three, I think he was four or five now, and all he needed was, he just needed a mother's love and touch. And they asked me, do I have a son? I guess they wanted to come home with me, but it's something that's really, really needed. To be able to see the children on the last day of vacation by the school, give us back everything that we had prepared and gave them was actually one of the most rewarding things I've ever felt. Um, the kids knew the songs. Uh, in one week, uh, Sister Rita Carter was the song person, and in one week she taught them four or five songs. Uh, every class had a song, and then there was a general song. Uh, what we did is we took uh, Sun World, which was our Vacation Bible School material here at True Light, and we were fortunate enough to have some materials left over. So we took what we had here to the Bahamas. The kids heard the songs, they learned the little moves, they learned the songs, and they were actually able to give them that. To be able to see the youth in one week that Sister Jocelyn worked with uh, do a full skit uh, just in the few days when, with costumes and everything uh, was just extremely rewarding. It spoke volumes to the um, ability of the team. It spoke volumes to their teaching, their skills, uh, just everything that they put into this week of Vacation Bible School, we got back on that Friday. This trip taught me that God is everywhere, that he allows us to experience him in different ways. And one of the things I remember is that uh, we had a class that says experiencing God and we need to go where God is and because God is at work all around us and we need to go where God is and, and, and to help him where he's at. And so my thing is that we did not take God to the Bahamas, that God was already there. I know that uh, this is just the tip of the iceberg for True Light to go out and do missions, not only in the Bahamas, but in other parts of the world, and also for those children. And I know that we planted a seed and we may not see what 
the result of that seed is uh, after being there for seven days. But I know we planted a seed and I know those are children that I'll never forget. And, I, and I, it is my prayer that they'll never forget the lessons that we taught them. This was life changing. You know, I came back and um, I recognized that God is just bigger than even just big. He's a big God and, and it's life changing. And so uh, when I think about ministry without limits and I think about what we do here and how we go about ministering to people, my mindset is different. My, my eyes are just wide open because I've, I've seen the hand of God move in, in a way that is uh, just beyond the four walls. And so I just would encourage anybody who um, who's excited about seeing God move in that way and who really believes what the Word says about going, you know, to the uttermost parts of the world to, um, to take up any opportunity to do that. This was uh, well worth the time and the prayer and the support that Pastor gave us, so I appreciate it. I grew a lot spiritually. I think I felt, you know, I shared with the ladies when we were over there that um, before going, I had this question about what does it what does it sound like? What does it look like when God speaks to you? You know, we pray, and when He answers prayers, what does that what does that look like? And how do I know that it's His voice? And being over there and being with this group of ladies um, and doing the devotions and doing the different things each day, I really got a clear understanding of what that looks like, um, and I'm thankful for that. Given our positive experience with this year's team, we would more than welcome the opportunity to receive additional teams or volunteers from True Light Baptist Church in the future. Once again, we express our deepest thanks to you, this year's mission team, and True Light Baptist Church for your ongoing interest and your support of our ministry.